Hey there, Andrew Texador Solutions Real Estate, and this is an important message for sellers, for owners of real estate in Arizona. Now, I, I'm saying this because I'm looking online right now in the MLS, and I have a list of about 12 houses a client would like to see, and five of them are owned by investors. Now, I understand there might be uh, investors might not know the the rules or the laws, but surely a real estate agent, a licensed realtor, should know it. And in these listings, each one of these that are owned by by either someone who's flipping a property or someone who is an investor that you know owned the house as a, a rental for some time is now selling it. They're not offering spuds or seller property disclosure statements. And I'm just going to tell you, if you're an owner of real estate and you think that you can get away with um, putting a listing in the in the, the uh, MLS and not providing spuds, you're dead wrong, and you're huge. You're in a huge uh, position of liability. Okay, it is Arizona ca case law that you have to provide seller property disclosure statements, no matter how limited they must they are. You know information about the house, and so if you're putting, if your realtor is allowing you to say no clue report or lost history report and no spuds they are allowing you to hang yourself out there if somebody buys your property and it is determined if there's an issue somewhere down the road they're going to come back after you and they're going to win because you were not represented correctly and that's really that's the long and short of it you were not represented correctly your realtor didn't know what he was doing and they just listened to you saying now oh, we don't know anything about the house you know something about the house if you own the property. You have to know something, right? You know who the utilities are with. You know um, when you bought the house. You know that it was a, a lease for a certain amount of time. Or if you did a remodel, you know a lot about the property. And so that you just put what you know and then sign it so that at least your butt is covered. Otherwise, you are going to find yourself in the court and... The reality is a buyer is the one that they're going to protect, okay? Not the investor or not a realtor that is playing that he doesn't know or, you know, ignorance. Ignorance doesn't work in the court of law. All right, Andrew Texador, Solutions Real Estate. If I seem a little perturbed, it's because I am, because this just shouldn't be going on. All right, if you want to know, if you want to get great service and great representation, Look me up, www.heroeshomesolutions.com. I will represent you and cover your ass. <laughs> That's it.